Hello everyone, I'm back again with another quick DIY video. Today I will be making a Chanel inspired perfume bottle. Here I have lined up all the material and tools I need. I will drop the link of the items in the description box below. Here I have a 4.6 picture frame I got from the Dollar Tree, metallic glitter, metallic paint I got from Lowe's, brush, a bold, Gorilla Glue, E6000, vase fillers I got from the Dollar Tree and some rhinestone from Amazon, a pack of crystal rhinestone strips, a utility knife, Carefully remove the wrapper from the pitcher. Pull apart pitcher to remove glass. I'll be painting the frame silver. I will do this to both frames and leave to dry overnight. Now we're back and the bolt frames are completely dry. I will use my E6000 to hold the glass in place. Make sure to clean glass. Wipe away any fingerprints. I got these blocks from the Dollar Tree. I'll be using these for the top of my perfume bottle. I went ahead and created the top overnight. Paint it and leave the dry. Now I'm going to use my base fillers. I've already had my Chanel logo printed and my adhesive sticker letters my crystals cut open packs and fill Shake around. I 
I'm using my E6000 glue to securely hold both frames together. Add a little weight to it and let it sit and dry for 15 to 20 minutes. Now I'm working on creating the top of the perfume bottle. Go ahead and glue the smaller piece to the top. Here I was trying to decide which crystal I want and which one fits it better. Now I'm going to use the Mod Pod to hold the glitters together. Apply Modge Podge Sprinkle Glitter Knock off any excess glitter set aside to dry. I'm now using my glue gun to apply diamonds rhinestone strip around the bottle. I went ahead and had a second coat of March Podge. Now we've completed. I did not add glitter to the bottom as I wanted it secured when standing upward. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a perfume top. I use the E6000 to secure a perfect hold. And here we have it. We're almost done. I had previously printed out the Chanel logo from Pinterest. I'm going to go ahead and cut out my Chanel logo. I trace and cut a small piece of vinyl paper which will be used as the background 
for my Chanel logo. Glue on to bottle. I'm using a tiny piece of diamond strip to add a little more flavor to the design. Go ahead and add it to four corners. Now for the adhesive letters. Make sure you have them all lined up. This is the finished product. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again in my next video.